Let's talk about DJ headphones and what the III TMA2 DJ XE headphones uh, might bring to you as a DJ looking for something a little bit different. So we've reviewed many III headphones in the past here at Digital DJ Tips. They're a modular headphone system, and that means that you get the parts in a box that assemble into the headphones that you've ordered. This is the TMA2 DJ XE. XE is their cheaper, lighter weight range as opposed to their heavier weight, more professional headphones. They have a studio version as well of the XE and kind of the pro ones. So this is the, the cheapest one. It's about 140 to buy these. So they are at the bottom end of what III sells. That said, everything that III stands for and everything that they do is present in these headphones. So the whole point is that you get all the parts and with the help of a trusty pair of scissors, you assemble what you ordered. Now, the benefit of this is that you can change the headphones as you go along. So either as parts kind of break or wear out or get damaged, or you decide that you want different drivers, you want to have some studio headphones, you can even buy the parts and change the headphones up as you go along. So you might settle on a headband, but have different uh, ear cups and so on, depending on what you want. So this version here kind of gets you into their ecosystem and you can upgrade as you go along, which I think is quite nice. You know, it's a bit like the fair phone kind of concept, if you've ever seen that for mobile phones, where you, you buy the phone and all the parts are replaceable and so on. You know, I think as the world moves forward, this is the kind of thing we're gonna see more and more of, right? Now you might think, well, this is all good, you know, green credentials and all that, but what about those plastic bags? These plastic bags are actually, 100% uh, recycled bags, it says it on the back of them all. So as long as you put them in the recycling, uh, you should be good there. So here's the ear cups. These are gonna go over our speaker units here. So the speaker units for the DJ uh, XE version of the TMA2 headphones are kind of a balanced audio, so you don't get quite as much bass as you get with the professional ones, uh, but um, it's pretty, pretty small, the difference. We're not talking about like utterly different audio, but it's just that they've got slightly different audio signature with a bit less bass than you get with the main ones. So here they are. They're lightweight. The whole point about these headphones that III is pushing against their pro ones is that they're lightweight. So the whole thing comes in at like 168 grams or something like that. Uh, there's a cable, which I do believe is a straight cable on the front. Yeah, it's a straight cable. So personally, we'll talk a little bit about what you should look for in DJ headphones in a minute. Personally, I'm a fan of the coiled cable for DJ headphones because that means that you can stand close to the gear, um, like your DJ unit, and it's coiled, it's not dragging around below you and getting in your way. But then you can also walk away quite a long way from the DJ gear to, you know, you're playing in a DJ booth and someone's put their coat right at the back of the booth, right? You can get in there. And there we go, lo and behold, looks like you get a coiled cable as well. So immediately top marks from me, you get that choice of two cables. Nice color as well, I like that. So yeah, surprise there. I didn't believe that you'd get two cables for a $140 pair of headphones or uh, yeah, $140, but you do. Right, so assembling these, you've got to assemble them yourself. Luckily, that is pretty simple. Uh, you take the cups and you take these bits here. Now these bits here, that means that just slots in there like that, little push and that's on their PU leather, uh, which I used to not like, but actually I think PU leather is the way forward, isn't it? Why, why kill a cow for your nice headphones? That plugs in there, uh, but before you do that, slide it on here. So slide that on there, plug this in, give it a little twirl so it locks, and that's now in place. And clearly we're gonna do the same on the other side. So it's not, you don't need a degree to assemble these. It's, we're not talking, uh, we're not talking uh, Meccano or something like that. It is just a few seconds to do it. And of course the advantage here is that you can order the individual units if you want, as I said. So that is now assembled. There are your headphones. Now the cables, as I said, I was surprised to see that they had a coiled one as well. The coiled one is definitely the one I would use, although you're gonna to need to like this, uh, this color. Choice of where you plug it in, up to you. Plug it in and that, that is in apparently. It looks like there's no lock on there. Uh, so, now oh, there's a lock on that side. Hey, that's nice as well. Hey, we're discovering things together here. There's no lock on this side. So if you prefer the idea of someone yanks on it, it just pulls out and doesn't damage anything, great. Or if you uh, are more interested in making sure it doesn't get accidentally pulled out, 
there you go, that's cool. Uh, right, there we go. So there they are assembled and ready to go. So the difference between these then and the pro ones is that, as I said, the components are lighter weight and cheaper build here. So the, the headband hasn't got all the cushioning and padding, padding that it has on the more expensive ones. That said, uh, it's, it's nice, feels good. Maybe if you were wearing them as a hi-fi headphone for hours and hours and hours, you'd want a more comfortable headband. But that brings me on to the kind of things that we look for in DJ headphones, right? To me, DJ headphones need to have a couple of things. Firstly, they need to be durable. Now, these are durable. I know these are durable. They're slightly uh, cheaper build than their higher end headphones, but it's more choices than the build quality. So for instance, the higher end ones have a little coiled cable uh, here, which looks a bit nicer. As I say, they've got a little bit more padding and a little bit more work gone into the headbands. But ultimately, uh, they are simple headphone they've got a simple there's no hinge going on here so you can't kind of snap them at the hinge it, it's all bendy plastic with this kind of like uh kind of like foam uh, top here, which is hiding that cable as it moves around from one to the other. So in DJ headphones, durability is good. And these have always had durability in spades. Uh, everything's replaceable. Uh, the, the cables only on one side because you don't really want cables on either side on DJ headphones because they're always going on and off. Uh, so the thing about headphones as well is you want a little bit of wiggle there so that you can wear them in all kinds of ways like that. You can wear them like that. Uh, you can twist that out the way like this, you can, these have got a bit of give there, so you're not kind of in a straight jacket when they're around here. Uh, they are not too big. They are kind of like a cross between over ear and on ear, I would say. So DJ headphones need a closed back to, to isolate your ear, that's a given. But then the choice is yours. Do you want the ones that totally encase your ear? with the closed back and the padding, so it kind of locks the audio out that way. Or are you happy to have more pressure on your ear? Uh, and then again, padding around the ear from this, but it's not like on your head, it's actually still on your ear. That's kind of what these give you. They're not big enough. They're 40 millimeter drivers and uh, smaller ear cups than some of them. So they're not big enough to completely surround and not put any pressure on your ear. These put pressure on your ear. So I'd say these are a larger on-ear headphone rather than over-ear headphone. That choice is yours, the classic. Uh, headphone in this type is this one here, the Sennheiser HD 25s. Uh, these have been around for decades and decades and decades and have hardly changed. And actually you could say that these are a modern interpretation of these, because these are modular, you can buy the parts for these as well. Uh, these are great, there's nothing broken about these. I've still got a pair of these that I use here in the production studio day in, day out. Uh, but these are um, a, maybe a trendier, nicer feel. These have got a kind of like more more built feel. These these feel really, really minimal, like really minimal. These have got a slightly more, you know, a slightly more luxury aesthetic going on, but as you can see, it's still very, very minimal. There's no III logos or anything on these. They are, um, apart from the fact that you get this, uh, this luminous cable, which I didn't even know was in there, uh, they are a pretty minimal headphone. So the other cable is a rubber covered straight cable. It's not so long that it's going to annoy you if you prefer the idea of this, or you just don't want to have a bright cable uh, dangling down from you. You think you look a bit silly with that. Obviously, I'm not bothered about bright things, uh, but you get that now also. Not really that important nowadays, is it? You've got the um, adapters and they give you two. Again, I guess these are modular components, right? If you order one of these, you're going to expect to get an adapter. Maybe they should sell these separately so that you're not getting a big pile of adapters. We've got hundreds of them over there that you never use, but uh, not quite as important as they used to be because most DJ gear has got eight inch adapters on it anyway. You're gonna say, what do they sound like, Phil? Listen, as I say, I've auditioned loads and loads of these over the years. I know exactly what they sound like. They've got a more, I'd say a more balanced audio with a little bit less bass than the, the ones up in the range that are about $200, which are the uh, TMA2 DJ not the DJ XC. The DJ is way more uh, and a bassier sound, uh, but, Either of them are going to be just fine for DJing because, for instance, the other one that I use a lot in the studio, and if you're a regular here, at the DJ Digital DJ Tips School, you'll have seen me using them at these. This is a Pioneer DJ uh, Q1 headphones, which are actually very similar as well. They're a little bit bigger than these. They're a bit more traditional. They've got the traditional hinges and so on going on. They've got the advantage that they fold up, which these don't. Um, so these, again, are all you need in the DJ headphone. I don't think you need to spend much more than this. I mean, these are cheaper than these, for sure. These are a little bit, somewhere in the middle, I think, about 125. So let's do a little impromptu roundup of these three, the Pioneer DJ uh, Q1s, the Sennheiser HD25s, and the TMA2 
to DJXE from III. So not quite so modular, as you can see, these are all kinds of weird colors. That's because we've kind of pimped them up to digital DJ tips colors. Uh, that means you can buy cables and you can buy uh, extra pads for these, but you can't easily detach these, this area as you can with these two, for instance. So not modular, uh, perfectly good sound for DJing. Uh, they isolate your ears well. They've got decent clamp strength on your ears, which you need, otherwise it won't isolate well. Um, no problem with these, we've been using these for many years here, detachable cable, uh, which has curiously just a little bit of coil on it. So it's hedging its bets there, mainly straight with a bit of coil. Uh, the HD25s are an absolute classic. They, you will see these if you've been knocking around DJing or uh, production or podcasting or whatever. They're just a classic. They, are, um, they do what they do. They've been around for a long, long, long time. You can get spare parts for them. They're durable, very minimal. Some people don't like the very small ear cups and the feel of them on their ears. Uh, very, very lightweight. Uh, and these, Probably somewhere between the two. Now these are a little bit more expensive. Uh, I'm not sure the current price of the HT25s. There's not much in it. Uh, they have got a decent DJ style clamping. They are a little bit more luxury, a little bit more uh, less minimal than the HD25s, uh, but not quite as substantial as the Q1s from Pioneer DJ. Uh, but this is the concept you're buying into if you like something that's modular, if you like the idea of going onto their website and ordering spare parts for these and upgrading them and changing them. And if things break, you can get in there and order the bits that are broken so that you can continue using your headphones without buying a completely new uh, pair. I think that's the biggest selling point here. And I think that if you uh, jump forward 10, 20 years, everything's gonna be like this. So they're ahead of the game. TMA2 modular headphone system, lightweight, sound good. You can replace bits and pieces. If you like them, you know already. This has been another review here at Digital DJ Tips, the world's leading online DJ school. Hope it's helpful. And if you've got any questions, ask underneath. Till next time, get good, get out there and make the moments.